of Montezuma's Castle, uh, just under 3,200 uh, 3, elevation. Uh, I'm excited to show this to you. Uh, the weather, it looks like it's going to rain on us. I hope not, but uh, we'll see. People don't know me well. I'm a gardener, and uh, Three Sisters Garden is what it's called. It's with corn, squash, and beans. The squash uh, is used mainly as ground cover. Uh, the corn grows a stalk, and then the um, then you have the, the beans grow up the stalk. And that's how Native Americans uh, utilize their land. If you look closely, you can start to see it. Montezuma's Castle. Check that out. It's built about 800 years ago ish by Native Americans. Pretty crazy, but smart. Let's go check it out. Look at all these gorgeous sycamore trees. Pretty beautiful. And there she is. Now they stopped doing tours inside, I believe in 1951. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it was around that time. I assume they used ladders and everything else to get up there. It's pretty amazing. Pretty crazy. About 35 people are probably housed. Maybe 150 to 200 people in the community. They were great farmers. Definitely great farmers. Hunters, fishermen. Traders, craftsmen, great warriors. That's amazing. We must have had some really long ladders. Maybe some of this uh, sandstone, what I mean, limestone, uh, was still there. Maybe that was a cliff up there. Who knows, but man, that's amazing. Early on, they thought it was the Aztecs from Mexico that built this, but uh, there's no record of that. Uh, as far as I know, they don't really know who built this. Pretty amazing. You can even see the little areas. Wow, pretty amazing. crazy. About 35 people are probably housed. Maybe 150 to 200 people in the community. They were great farmers. Definitely great farmers. Hunters, fishermen, Traders, 
craftsmen, great warriors. That's amazing. They must have had some really long ladders. Maybe some of this uh, sandstone, I mean limestone, uh, was still there. Maybe that was a cliff up there. Who knows, but man, that's amazing. Early on, they thought it was the Aztecs from Mexico that built this, but uh, there's no record of that. Uh, as far as I know, they don't really know who built this. Pretty amazing. You can even see the little areas. Wow, pretty amazing. Uh, so far the weather's holding up. It's gonna be raining though. There's a huge rain cloud. There, see those dark skies. So I'm gonna rush through this. Uh, unfortunately, um, that storm is headed right here. But uh, the construction of their cliff home residence, these naturally eroded alcove, and fit 20 rooms into the shape of those corridors. Why build a home on a, on a face, cliff face? There are many possibilities, proximity to water and farmland, which uh, right behind me is a creek, so that makes sense. Um, also a good place to um, farm. Stay above floods, smart. Uh, for protection, the view of southern exposure, afforded winter, solar, summer shade. Already made shelter, also meant fewer walls, roofs, construction, housing, storage, board space, custom rituals. To organize a partition in the alcove space, builders created walls with rob, uh, river cobbles and limestone held together with uh, mud mortar, mud plaster, <laughs> covered and sealed the walls for roof beams, the floor between. Oh boy, multi-storied rooms. They mostly use local sycamore. I see. I know my trees. Along some of the, the alder and ash. Uh, but also carried uh, in fir and pine from a distance. Yeah. Pine and fir would be uh, north of here. Uh, not too terribly far, but uh, Flagstaff probably would be the closest. Uh, maybe Prescott. The original roof beams protruded uh, from the walls right to the tower, a large beam ending the wall above the tower. Provide a sense of scale. The castle is not as high up or as large as it might appear. Wow. So actually pictures of inside. Put some metal beams in there. It looks like afterwards. Uh, keep it from eroding. That's pretty amazing. Pretty ingenious. Use your surroundings. Around the year 1400, people began leaving their homes here. 500 years later, its walls were still largely intact. I wonder why they left. Uh, there's many areas, uh, especially to Native Americans, that are just, they were just abandoned. We really don't know. Don't know if they got sick or, but there's no graves or anything. That's, that's what's weird. Uh, the builders choose their home site wisely. 
Take advantage of the shelter and natural alcove provided. The majority of the majority of what you see today is original. And the castle is thought to be one of the best preferred sites from the period, likely due to inaccessibility. And it's definitely hopping in the other native consultants say dwellings like this were meant to recycle back to the earth after the people left. However, in 1906, the castle became a national monument to be uh, managed and pre uh, present in future generations. A variety of uh, preservation treatments were applied to help within to stand hundreds of thousands of visitors to keep people standing. Meanwhile, whenever possible, archaeologists attempt to match today's uh, treatments more closely with the original materials and buildings. Details applying the minimum necessary to protect the integrity of the structure. I'll check that out. It's a really beautiful area. Here's the creek that would run water. And I don't know if those are leaves or water I can hear running in the background. But this is uh, when the water, when it does rain here, the water will flow through here. You can tell because these sycamore trees love to be in the uh, creeks. But you can see how gorgeous this place is. Big mesquite tree there. Some more mesquite trees. It's a gorgeous place. Here's more of those sycamore. I love their bark. The bark kind of just flakes off. Just like camouflage looking colors. These are wrapped to get protected. Yeah, these are gorgeous. I'm gonna walk up in that area. So this is the area where others that lived outside the castle would have lived. Different levels. You can see the stonework there, and also there. But then these were old dwellings here. You can see foundations. Little foundations. Pretty neat. Really beautiful area. Can't really tell because the uh, trees have grown up, but there's some more dwellings back there. And this is kind of how they would look to get to the different areas using ladders and such. Pretty cool. This is one big loop basically, it takes you down. I believe this is the creek back here. You can see more of the cliff dwelling here. <coughs> Pretty sure this is the creek. Yeah, that's the creek. So it's just some water in it. Nothing flowing. But yeah, it is flowing a little bit. Slowly but surely. I'm sure this is what the farmers used to help with their farms.
make the most of their surroundings and environment. You can still see more holes in there than people used to live. Beaver Creek. It's always been a major focus of life in the Verde Valley. Makes sense. It's hard to have a life without water. And it's amazing how much we waste water. Once our, uh, our most precious thing that we have. Yeah, they say here that they uh, used the water to irrigate the fields of corn, bean squash, and cotton. Cotton takes a lot of water um, to grow. Um, they also hunted animals, tracked into the creek. Sense. Curious if they built canals for the corn, for the water to go to the corn. Hard to say now. But this used to be the creek here, you could tell when it's the overflow. All this area, when the heavy rains will come, they built this like dam, this wall. Um, I, this was not by the Native Americans. This was definitely after, but uh, to try to keep the water all on one side. But yeah, it's beautiful. Better hurry up, rain. Alrighty, fortunately I had to cut this short. It's about to pour. Um, if you can do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, greatly appreciate your sub. It helps out my channel greatly. If you can leave a comment or two, greatly appreciate it. And if you can share the link, I'd greatly appreciate you all. See you next time. Peace.